For today's video, we're gonna learn how to paint a mouth harp. All right, so the question of the day is, what is a mouth harp? Let's run through the colors. Moon red. Pearly red dark. Pearly orange. Ultramarine blue. Moon blue. Paler green. Cad yellow. Primary yellow. Titanium white. Orange black. Put your mouth and go ding 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 ding. It's kind of a fun uh, bluegrass uh, thing for on the road. You got like no uh, budget for your music, so you got the bing 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 bing. <laughs> no one uses it nowadays because you got synthesizers. It's way more complicated. But this is what this is. And for this part of what we're gonna do is uh, fill in the green, the blue, um, and we've got a two tone this red. Uh, right now we kind of blocked it in, but there's actually kind of you want to capture both edges of the shape of the instrument. mouth harp is a little instrument you stick in your mouth and you kind of bring 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 and make all this noise um, originally I thought it was kind of came out of bluegrass but it actually goes way back it actually goes back to the fourth century BC in China um, there's there's also a theory that it came out at the same time in Europe because um, this instrument penetrated all through the world history so it's a little bit unknown um, but yeah the Chinese had the earliest record written record of the uh, mouth harp, also called the Jews harp, I think, because it was in Jewish music, but it was in several different cultures, Slovak music, Chinese music, um, yeah, several different um, Middle Eastern music. So it's just, it's penetrated all over the world. So obviously from the fourth century BC, it's been a widely used instrument that you can just kind of take on with you and travel with. So that's basically the history of the mouth harp. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So this was a little more challenging with the reds. I kind of added some of the highlights, the white and the dark, to kind of give it more of a 3D look. Um, yeah, overall, it reads like a mouth harp, so that's you know satisfying. I like to kind of lighten up the blue. It's a little bit kind of green green color, what we all think kind of green grass for little kids drawing. Um, the blue is a little darker than a true blue, so it kind of has a nice contrast blue to green as well as the blue, red, and green. So they have good contrast to each other. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty good painting. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching, guys.